Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of our RPG series. In today's episode, we are going to be equipping our bow. So that's the logic that we're going to be creating in today's episode. The logic to equip our bow, then we'll go on from there. So I haven't released a lot of videos. I think the last one was fortnight ago. So the reason is work. Uh, every time I find, because uh, I have first risk to do things on my own, make sure that they are working before showing you guys those things. Uh, so when I get time to first of all um, make things work, take some time. So uh, usually I'm too busy during the week, but I found some time and we are making this video. All right, so. Let's get started. If you're enjoying this series so far, leave a like. I appreciate all the support that uh, the channel has been getting, the videos I've been getting. Uh, it's all great. So let's keep it rolling and um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the videos in this series or even in other series that we're going to be doing on this channel. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to figure out how we want this thing to work. All right. There are two ways of going about this. We could go with uh, having one pattern be the one to equip all weapons. So be it ranged, be it um, be it ranged, be it um, melee and whatever. So, <clears throat> and the other one would be to have two distinct patterns. One for ranged, one for melee. But uh, we'll see which one works. Uh, in the interest of time. So let's go to our player controller. Let's open this guy up. Let's go to the equip. Inside the equip, we've got uh, Q. What two? Why do we have two? Right, we've got two bindings. All right, one is for the gamepad, doesn't matter. So under interactions here, Let's add an interaction and let's put hold. And then let's add another one and let's put press. So what the interactions do is what, uh, we're telling our pattern to behave according to these interactions. Now that we've got two interactions, um, the first interaction, which is the hold, takes precedence. And if hold fails, it goes into press. So we're going to try the one button style first. If it doesn't work, we'll just create a new binding here and then just move the logic to that and um, it works the same. All right, so that now that we've added that, we'll let this script load. <clears throat> okay, so now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our player. Then on our player, we're going to go to the actual player where our scripts are sitting. We shall go to the player controller. This guy, the player controller. We're going to open this guy up. So you can see we've got all these things happening here which is fine, I guess. We're gonna go into our handle equip input right here where uh, weapon manager dot equip weapon is. We're going to, to say, so we're not even, we haven't even dealt with the, we just want to write the scripts first before we deal with the actual editor side of things. So let's say if, right? We're going to say if context, this context that we are receiving here dot interaction so uh, dot interaction is interaction let's see interaction hold yes like that if it's hold interaction and I'm sorry for that supposed to be hold interaction then else if interaction is press interaction. So if it's press interaction, we'll just go ahead and 
equip our weapon if it's a hold interaction then what we are going to say is um, weapon manager dot equip the same thing but we're just going to change it on the other side uh, equip weapon okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to say mm, let's go to our weapon manager script at the top here we're going to create a public boom and call this ranged uh, equip so the only reason why we're doing this is that if um, we hold it and there's no weapon selected we should equip the bow otherwise all the other weapons including the bow itself will be equipped using this guy so if we hold it it will check do we have a weapon equipped if we've got a weapon equipped nothing will happen but if we don't have a weapon equipped it will take priority to equip the bow not anything else right so let's come here and now say bow let's say weapon manager dot bow dot what, what was that what was that public boolean that we're creating again ranged equip so we're going to say weapon manager dot ranged uh, ranged didn't I make that a public thing I think I made it public right so public boom why am I unable to see it let's just copy it when manager dot ranged equip is equal to true uh, manager does not contain a reference for this it does it does it does what is this oh we put it here my bad uh, let me see we do we're going to cut this and then we're going to put it inside the weapon manager yeah in here so we have got the private equip we're going to put ranged equip now we'll go back to the player controller and then ranged equip is true like that then what we're going to say now is uh, let's put some debugs so that we test this that it's working debug.log bow equip and because we're going to have an error here let's just comment this out for now then on this one we're going to leave it like that so let's come back here to unity let it compile let's hit play so if we hold it since hold is top it should be the one that takes uh, priority so if we hold it you can see bow equipped is what ran but we also ran that weapon object not found okay weapon object not found okay all right cool, cool, cool. so when we hold our weapon equip boy is what happens and then when we tap it it equips our sword like that brilliant 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 so the one button style is gonna work now let's come to the next piece of logic let's go into our equip weapon so we're saying if not equip equip weapon right but here's the next thing we're going to do we're going to put another if in here so well, let's put a switch we're going to switch uh on what we're going to switch on um, ranged equip ranged equip we switch on the ranged equip and case one so case true we 
Brick. Then case force brick. So case true. Well case false. We're just gonna go ahead with this guy. Like that. But inside case true. Inside case true. We are going to say, let's come here and look, we've got a uh, weapon, uh, is it the one that we're passing there? Yep, we've got that weapon, so weapon type. So we're going to say, weapon type new weapon is equals to new weapon type. Then we're going to say new weapon is going to be equals to available weapons dot where x dot weapon obj dot weapon type all right is equal to weapon type dot ball then we're going to say dot first or default we get the first item which is of type weapon in our available weapons. Then we're going to say if new weapon um, is not equal to null, then we're going to now call equip weapon the same equip weapon function only this time with new weapon else if it's equal to null we are going to either you can now hear play a sound so let me just put give so you can do whatever you want here i will not do it so we'll say give player feedback that weapon that ranged weapon ranged weapon isn't in the available weapons that's all i'm gonna give them feedback so for me i'm just going to use a debug.log but for you guys you can do whatever you want at this point a sound the particles effect you can play whatever you want uh, to show the player that um, that weapon doesn't exist, it is not there, so we'll say weapon not found like that. So we now go into this function, the equip weapon. So this part here is if the weapon is not a bow. Remember, if the weapon is a bow, it's different. So we're gonna say if weapon to equip dot weapon obj dot weapon type is equal to weapon type bow. Uh, we're gonna do something else for every other weapon just follow this because the hand will be the same so you see why we're doing this is because our bow is equipped on the left hand and our uh our whip our other weapons are equipped on the right hand because our player is right-handed so if you're going with a left-handed player that would be the other way around so let's just do that and then Let's come here and say, we're going to get all of this is literally the same, literally the same. We're going to get all of this and then instead we're going to go into the attach part. And also, first of all, we're going to go into this animator.wait for equip animation. So I already tested this, but if you're using different animations, I would advise you to... Um, 
to to test it but i already tested it so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to create wait for weapon animation for the bow so if you just test the numbers so for me the animation that i got is it works very well when i put this at 0.2 for the equip duration it works very well there but for you guys if you we are using different animations test those numbers until you find the number that works for you so here we just put bow then we're going to say attach weapon to, to hand will come here so again here we're going to do the same if weapon to equip dot weapon so if weapon to equip so we're going to say if um Okay, we are going to have to change something here. Yeah. So I will say if weapon, the active weapon, dot weapon obj, dot weapon type is equal to weapon type. Mm, if it's equal to weapon type, dot bow then else we are going to do this here again we're just going to copy this exact same thing and then this way it says transform uh, let's see so the transform is a hand transform i'm going to create a new uh transform so public transform we're going to create a new one and call it bow hand transform so bow hand transform so um, if it's a bow we're going to change this part here to bow hand transform so let's just put that there there we go so if it's a bow we're going to still do the same thing uh, actually we don't need to do this twice since we're already changing it there we can just pass it here so we don't need to do this we are already passing the transform the hand transform and the weapon that we want to equip we just have to attach them so that's fine we can leave that as like that we don't we don't have to over complicate that then um, once that is done we're going to add it and then that 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 that's correct but the next thing that's not correct is right at the top here so right at the top here, we're dealing with our animator controller inside of Unity. And so, for us to be able to equip our bow, we need to create a state for it. So let's just clear that. Then let's go to our player. And then let's go to this guy, the humanoid controller here. Open it up. So this is our current state. So we've got our initialization, then we've got our a sword and mini state. So at the top here, let's create a new substate machine and call this ranged uh, state. Okay, so there's the mini state and then there's the ranged state. I'm gonna do that. We're going to open this, we're going to create from blend tree, then we're going to call this um, ranged local motion. There we go. So you can get these animations from Mixamo. I just got them from Mixamo. So you can also get them from the same place, but I'll still share these ones which I've worked on because you still have to organize to create to like set them up nicely so let's go to our player control animation combat then we're going to create a new folder here and call this ranged animations 
So let me just get my animations here. I'm gonna bring those two animations in. This one, which is the idle animation, and this one, which is the equipping animation. All right, they're already set up as humanoid. So next thing is just to come in here. Inside here, we've got vertical. So I'm going to do the same to the with uh, horizontal and vertical. So just the same thing that we've been doing this whole time, but instead we're going to have our, we're going to create uh, a motion state. So we're going to add motion field, then we're going to have our idle. So this is the animation state that we'll be going into. Uh, we're going to deal with the movement in the next episode. We just want to make sure that we can equip it here. So that's done. I'm going to come out of that. We are going to create two new. Uh, let's see here. How is this working? So animator dot set boo. Animator dot set boo. All right. All right. Since we've already used the boo, let's use another parameter so that you know how all the parameters work. We will use the trigger this time, and then we'll say boo. But you can also use the boo and just make the code the same. It's actually doesn't change. You only change instead of set boo, you say it's set trigger. So I'm just using this uh, so that um, we use as many controls as possible. So equip boo. Then we're going to have our boolean of ball equipped. So we're going to make a transition from here, state machines to the initialization state machine. And this will not have it. Uh, let's see. It will not have an exit time. Uh, it's going to be if bow equipped is set to false. Okay. Then we're going to go back to our base layer. So you can see we've got from here to there. And then uh, we're going to have so if we open this guy up, you go to equip weapon. Let's create another one here. Create an empty, and then we're going to say uh, equip bow. The motion will be our bow equip. So from here, we're going to make a transition to there. The condition, this is also not going to have an exit time, so it can just change is going to be if equip bow is triggered all right then we are going to now have a transition out to our state machines the ranged state and then the trigger here is going to be it's going to have an exit time so it's going to be exactly like that but here it's going to have an exit time and it's going to check for the condition of bow is equipped. Now, do we need the transition back here? Nah, let's just leave it because we're already having a transition. Ah, do we need a transition here? Nah, we're going to need a transition there. There we go. So now, inside of our C sharp script, this guy, uh, equip weapon, we're going to change it to set trigger. So we're going to say set trigger. The trigger that we're going to set is, it's not going to be set to true, but the trigger that we're going to set is equip bow. 
Then we're gonna say equip is true. Then we're going to say bow equipped is equals to equip. Then the rest should work as intended. Save that. Let Unity compile your script. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. All right. We can get out of 2D. We can go to our player here. Now, there are a lot of things that are done. So we might have to set up a few parameters. For starters, we need um, our bow transform. You can see we do not have it there. So we're going to go to the armature, root, hips, spine one, spine two, spine three, clavicle left, left shoulder, left elbow, left hand. And then we already created it bow equipped position. We'll drag that there. Nicely done. So now, once we hit play, okay, we run around. Then, when we hit that, it equips this. We tap it, it goes back. But when we hold, you can see. Uh, we're trying to access mono behavior using new keyword, and this is not allowed. Uh, weapon not found, now boy equipped. That's fine. That's fine. We're trying to access uh, uh, and that's not allowed. All right. Let's not worry. It's fine. That's fine. So instead of us actually doing this guy here, Let's actually not do that. Let's just not even do any of that. Let's just get this weapon. We are going to come here and then change this whole new weapon to that, to that, to that, and finally to that, like that, so that that way we're not newing anything. Okay. But we're still going to be getting there uh, because we still have to have that bow picked up and uh, equipped as we should have it in our, as one of our equipped weapons or available weapons. So you can see if we hold that weapon not found in our bow equipped, which is fantastic. This is exactly what we want. So let's uh, run up to this guy, interact. Hit I, we need to bring back the game view like that. We're going to click on that. Then we're going to hit equip. Okay. That's fantastic. We're going to go out. Now, if we hold that, there we go. It equips it because it found a ranged weapon. Right. So if yours isn't, you should check one thing. Make sure that the um, let's go to a bow position, long bow. Make sure that this guy is set to bow here under weapon type. All right. Make sure it's set to bow there. So now the next thing we're going to do is to set up our bow weapon position to make sure that it looks right. So let's see. Let's rotate this. Uh, rotate this. Rotate this like that. Uh -huh. Let's move it down. It's just about getting it to look right. It doesn't have to be accurate. But for you guys in your games, make sure it's accurate. Because, I mean, it's your game. You want it to look the best that it probably can. But for me, for this series, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let me just scale it down a bit. Because you can see that our ranged weapon is rather larger than our player. And we don't want that. Okay, that looks fine. I'm going to move it out. 
bit maybe rotate that remember we are editing the position not the boy itself the position i repeat we are editing the position and not the ball itself so there we go like that then we're going to copy the component stop play we are going to paste component values then we're going to hit play again so uh let's go over there get that then when we hold we still don't have it equipped that's fine that's fine let's test that again also have to stop that flying i kind of forget every time so again there we go we are flying we got to stop that flying let's come there equip that get out of there then i'll hold x and there we go she picks up the weapon and it's equipped. We just have to stop this flying. Um, I'm gonna figure that out before the next video as to why do we keep flying. That's annoying. We got to stop this whole flying business. Okay, let's come there to our player. Is there anything that the player is interacting with that might be making the player fly? It's not even have a render. So let's hit play one more time. Equip that. Hit I. Equip. And hold X. There we go. And we have our ball ready to start our ball logic there we go our ball is equipped as you can see it's in the right hand and we're ready to start our ball logic but then you might be asking what if we're not forced what if we want to equip the currently active weapon so that if we pick up the ball equip it then is it uh, what is our the tab for our weapon wheel then we get the ball there as the equip weapon and we hit tab again to hide our weapon wheel then we tap q you can see it still works the same that time we didn't hold q we just tapped it so when we hold it that means we want to skip the sword which is the currently equipped weapon and go right to the ball and then um that way if you tap if you hoist your bow and tap q you will still equip your sword despite having just equipped your bow all right so we're gonna end this one here if you enjoyed it leave a like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel do all that great stuff um thank you very much for the support that you guys have shown so far and i hope you're enjoying the series i hope you're enjoying every the content that's coming your way i'm going to be looking to create more and more and more and more so make sure you are subscribed make sure your bell icon is turned on so that you don't miss out uh, on any of the content and our discord is where we post questions and uh, uh, receive answers and also have me personally check out your project if you're having if you're stuck somewhere i'm able to get your project and help you with it all that is on the discord remember uh, click the link in the description to join our discord if you haven't already uh, thank you very much for the support that you guys have been showing. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.